Boeing 737 MAX alternating and direct currents power generation. The electrical power system supplies 115 volts alternating current AC and 28 volts direct current DC electrical power to the airplane. AC power sources include these components. Two integrated drive generators, IDG, each driven by an engine, supply 115 volts AC. Each IDG supplies up to 90 kV amperes, kVA. A starter generator is a 90 kVA, to 32,000 feet, 66 kVA above, generator and an electric starter for the APU. External power receptacle rated at 90 kVA. Batteries. Battery chargers. Transformer rectifier units. The IDGs are the normal source of power for the airplane. However, the APU starter generator is a convenient backup power source for flight operation. It also makes the airplane self-sufficient during ground operations. In addition, external 115 volts AC power connects through a receptacle on the forward right side of the airplane. External power can be connected to the airplane system or just to cabin-related service circuits and the battery chargers. The following components give DC electrical power to the airplane. The standby power system uses the batteries to give AC and DC power to the airplane if the AC generation system malfunctions. The standby power control unit controls the standby power system. The static inverter changes battery DC power to standby system AC power. The P19 external power panel has a receptacle to connect external AC power. The external power connected light comes on when you connect a live external power source. The power in use light comes on when you use external power on the airplane. The parking brake light is an optional item. If the parking brake light is not installed, the panel has two interphone jacks. Interphone jacks let the ground crew talk and listen to the flight crew. They also let maintenance personnel talk and listen in different areas of the airplane. The external power panel has a pilot call switch. This switch causes a tone in the flight deck that tells the flight crew that ground personnel wish to speak to them. The external power panel also has a maintenance light switch to give light to the nose wheel well during maintenance. The external power panel is under the external power panel access door. You release three latches to open the door. Flight Deck Components and Indications these electrical power controls and indications are on the electrical meters, battery, and galley power module, P5. The DC meter selector selects the DC source for the DC voltmeter and ammeter indications. The DC amperes meter shows the current of the source when the selector is in the TR1, TR2, TR3, or battery position. The DC volts meter shows the voltage of the source selected by the DC meter selector. The battery switch connects the switched hot battery bus and battery bus to the battery. The battery is then available for backup to the AC and DC standby buses. The AC meter selector selects the AC source for AC volt and frequency indications. The cycles per second frequency meter shows the frequency of the source selected by the AC meter selector. The AC volts meter shows the voltage of the source selected. The AC amperes meter shows load current, phase B, of the generator source selected by the AC meter selector. The cabin utility switch supplies electrical power to the galleys and main buses. The in-flight entertainment passenger seat switch supplies electrical power to the in-flight entertainment system. The electrical light shows that there is a fault in the DC or standby power system. The TR unit light comes on when one or more of the TR units has a failure on the ground. It also comes on when TRU1 or TRU2 and TRU3 has a failure in the air. The battery discharge light comes on when a large current flow out of the battery occurs in a short time. The test position on both meter selectors along with the maintenance switch allows troubleshooting of the DC and standby power systems. Bike messages can show on the display in the test mode. These are examples of bike messages. Battery charger in up. Auxiliary battery charger in up. 
SPCU in up. Panel failure. Interface failure. Static inverter in up. The standby power off light comes on when the standby AC or DC bus does not have power. The light also comes on when the battery bus does not have power and the battery switch is in the on position. The standby power switch has these three positions. Auto. Normal position. The battery or batteries automatically connect to supply the DC standby and AC standby buses with loss of all AC power in flight. Off. Turns off power to the standby power buses. Battery. The battery or batteries supply power to the battery bus, DC standby bus and AC standby bus. The drive light comes on when IDG1 or 2 oil pressure is low. IDG1 or 2 has low frequency. The disconnect switch de-energizes IDG1 or 2 and disconnects the input shaft. The engine start levers must be in the idle position for the disconnect to operate. The ground power available light comes on when ground power is connected to the receptacle. The quality of the ground power must also be good for the light to come on. The transfer bus off lights come on when a transfer bus does not get power by any source. The source off light comes on when a transfer bus does not get power by the selected engine, APU generator or external power. The gen off bus light comes on when the IDG does not supply power to the transfer bus on the same side. The APU gen off bus light comes on when the APU is in operation but the generator does not supply power to one or both transfer buses. The gen 1, APU gen, and gen 2 switches are three position switches, momentary on off and spring loaded to center. The bus transfer switch has these two positions. Auto, guard down, transfer bus automatically transfers to opposite power source if normal source is inoperative. Off. Isolates left and right sides and prevents bus transfer. The P6 and P18 panels contain circuit breakers for the AC and DC electrical systems on the airplane. They are on the aft bulkhead of the flight compartment. The P6 panel is behind the first officer's seat. The P18 panel is behind the captain's seat. Most circuit breakers are usually closed, pushed in. You put collars around circuit breakers that must stay open. You must always follow the safety requirements of your company when you open or close circuit breakers. The standby power control unit gives control of normal DC power and standby AC and DC power. The standby power system of the airplane operates when usual AC power sources are not available. Electronic Equipment Compartment Components Two power distribution panels in the electronic equipment compartment have components for electrical power distribution. The power distribution panels are PDP-1 or P91, PDP-2 or P92. PDP-1 has these components, BTB-1, GCB-1, AGB-1, Transfer Bus-1, Main Bus-1. PDP-2 has these components, BTB-2. GCB2, EPC, Transfer Bus 2, Main Bus 2. The J9 junction box has these components. Static Inverter RCCB, Auxiliary Battery RCCB, Transformer Rectifier Units, TRUs, Change 115 volts AC power to 28 volts DC power. There are three Transformer Rectifier Units. TRU1, TRU2, TRU3. Generator Control Units, GCUs, control generator power quality. They also let the GCBs close when system operation is correct. There are three GCUs. GCU1, GCU2, AGCU. The Bus Power Control Unit BPCU. Controls AC power distribution. Controls external power. Has front face bite for external power. Controls the load shed function. The batteries provide DC power when the TRUs do not operate. The battery chargers keep the batteries charged. They also give DC power to the airplane as necessary. The static inverter gives AC power to the airplane when no other AC power source is available. The APU start converter unit gives power for APU start. 
It also helps control APU generator output quality. AC Power Distribution The electrical power distribution system normally operates as two separate systems. Normally the integrated drive generators, IDG, will supply their on-side transfer buses. The APU can supply power to both transfer buses on the ground and in flight. External power can supply both transfer buses on the ground. Bus Transfer System If either transfer bus loses power, the Bus Power Control Unit, BPCU, commands the Engine Generator Control Units, GCU, to close the bus tie breakers, BTB, to supply power from the opposite transfer bus. BPCU controlled load shed relays, shed loads as necessary in this condition. The APU can be started and used to supply power to a transfer bus. DC Power Distribution the 28 volts DC system has these components. Three transformer rectifier units, TRU. The TRUs convert 115 volts AC to 28 volts DC. 148 ampere hour battery, or optional 248 ampere hour batteries. Battery chargers. The main battery or the main battery charger supplies power to the hot battery bus and the switched hot battery bus. TRU-3 normally supplies the battery bus. If TR-3 fails, the battery charger or the battery supplies power to the battery bus. TRU-1 and TR-2 normally supply power to DC buses 1 and 2. DC bus 1 is the normal source for the DC standby bus. The batteries alternately supplies the DC standby bus. Standby power the Standby Power Control Unit, SPCU, provides automatic control of the standby system. The auxiliary battery and or the main battery are the standby source of power. The standby system supplies AC and DC power to primary flight instruments, communication, navigation, and other equipment. If all AC generators fail, standby power will provide the following. The batteries energize the DC standby bus. The static inverter energizes the AC standby bus. The inverter uses battery power to create single phase 115 volts AC.